<laughs> Hi, Terry. <laughs> Hi, you caught me trying to adjust the light. Yeah. Yeah. As, yeah. Hey, okay. Terry, that happens on real TV, as you you would know better yes. than anybody. <laughs> yes, it does. And yeah. I'll tell you, they put me on a riser just so that I could stand in front of the green screen because the guy that I worked with at the time was like as tall as you. Yeah. So <laughs> So who was it? Who was it you were working with? Brian Goddard. Yeah. I remember he, him. Yeah, he yeah. was he's a great guy. He went to Wisconsin, which was his home. Oh. And uh retired from I think it's WWMJ or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds right out there. Yeah, Milwaukee yeah. area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Terry would out I'm you know, we I know we talked about this in the past, but Terry was the traffic reporter for WCCO, which is our CBS main affiliate out of Minneapolis, St. Paul. So mm-hmm. I remember when Terry was on TV. Yeah, ten years. Has I it been that yeah. I, well, How long I, has it been? You did oh, it for ten years. Yeah, I was yeah. on from ninety six till two thousand six, and for then that I job stayed doing run, radio. But that's a oh, good run. It, really. It's a good run. Yeah, yeah I had a yeah. good time. I never thought I would do TV. So I'm sure it was just a fun experience. And it was fun to be done with it. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, my new screen opener. Welcome to go. the dish. Oh, yes. Terry's having a beer. It is Friday. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I'm she's having, not having no. A beer. I'm having a coconut. Here we go. That's what Suzette drinks is LaCroix. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Oh, Fresca. Oh my gosh, I haven't had one of those in like forever. I've been drinking this like crazy. I like it. Yeah. It's good stuff. Zero I calories. I have to get one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's All talk. Right. Let's Bold ditch. Yes. And beautiful. Oh We've got a lot God. to cover. Oh, it's it's been well, there are some nights I can't sleep. <laughs> I can relate also, <laughs> Terry. All right, let's start out talking about Dr. Finn. Oh, uh man. this has been a fun storyline. So Dr. Finn and Hope have been chatting it up lately, and I kinda like personally I kinda like this, but yeah. because uh, I'm kind of tired of Steffi and Liam both. Yes. He gave her, uh, in his office, he gave her this back rub the other day because she was stressed out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Harry. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I have questions for you and Super Sudsy on, on that whole situation coming All up. All right. But, uh, didn't surprise good. me. I've kind of see, seen this coming for a while. Yeah. And I think it's going to get sudsier. I agree. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. All right. So Deacon and Sheila... Um, they were going to get married. That's been the talk of the town. Mm-hmm. Um, and have it on a California beach there somewhere. And I, I missed that because I missed a few shows. But um, the fact that they were going to have it on the beach, I didn't even realize that. But anyway, uh, so Hope initially was reluctant, saying I, you know, that she didn't think she would attend the wedding. Deacon really wanted her to go. Um she did end up deciding to go uh, to the wedding, but Finn was pretty insistent that he was not going to go. To he the was, wedding. And, yeah. and he had no plans to be there. Right, and he told he told Sheila that, and he told Steffi that mm-hmm. um, that he would not. He just that he couldn't attend. He, you know, he was happy for her and all that, but he right. just said, "I can't, I can't attend it." So. Mm-hmm. Well, what what I don't get is, you know, Sheila, why do you think that all of a sudden people are just going to forgive you immediately? I know. I know. That's not how that works. Right. You have to it's make not, amends. Harry? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like being an alcoholic or drug addict. You got to make amends, man. You can't just ex- expect people to go, oh, okay, you just changed, and you said you changed, so I guess yes. you've changed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Especially okay. when you consider all the stuff she did. Oh, I mean, my. We're not talking minor things here. No. I mean, she's shooting people and stabbing people. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, I'm going to interject about yes. the, that Lee situation. Oh. Do you remember that? Did you yeah. see that episode no. where, oh. I so... missed about a week in here, Terry, because I was traveling. And oh, I did not this... get a chance to get back and watch it. This one was wicked. This is where you know Sheila has not changed. 
So she's in the hospital because Deacon insists on getting her checked out. She'd had a little bit of a fainting thing. He insists to take her. She is laying in one of the emergency room beds, and the nurse goes out, and suddenly Sheila hears Lee. Oh. She says, then the nurse comes back in. She says, oh, is that Dr. Finnegan? Dr. Lee Finnegan? Oh, yes. Well, I'd like to see her. So then she covers herself with a sheet completely, all right? <laughs> Lee walks in and says, you know, you, I, I heard you ask for me, and I'd, I'd like to help you. You need to take the sheet down. She goes on and on. And in the meantime, Sheila is under there laughing, smiling, not out loud, but laughing. And then all of a sudden, she takes the sheet up off of her toes. Oh. And Lee knows that the woman's right name is Sheila and just freaks. And Sheila is just a bitch. And they start fighting. Oh, it was, it was a great scene. Oh. I'm going to have to yeah. go back and check, see if I can find but that. But why, why didn't Lee start telling Finn right away? That's what I don't get. But anyway. Yeah, because he's, he's not aware of that visit, is he? No. Oh. Not at all. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. That's crazy. It was good. But it also kind of shows you that, I mean, Sheila, she's still oh. very capable of showing her claws. Oh, right? very much so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard the last of her and her evil ways. I get it. I've got a funny feeling. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Finn, now this is funny. Yeah. So, Finn orders a few pizzas from DiGiorno, Deacon's Il Restaurant. Yeah. El Giardino. I spelt it wrong again, yeah. Terry. I, I, <laughs> I should go in and look for the official spelling, but usually I'm in a hurry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You knew what I meant. I did, and everybody else does, too. So does everybody <laughs> else. They're like, that guy can't, sure as hell can't figure <laughs> out the name of that restaurant. <laughs> anyway, so she was. Go uh, so Finn was going to pick up the pizzas. And what's funny is that Steffi keeps going on and on back at the house about how, um, well, at least, at least he won't run into Sheila because he's just going to get some pizza as well. Yeah. yeah. I love soaps. Yes. You know, how they do that, how they do oh, that. That's funny. Timing as well. is everything. Oh, timing is just everything. Yeah. So anyway, so he goes to pick up these pizzas, and as he walks in, he's like, oh, you can just see the look on his face. Oh, yeah. He goes like, oh, shit. Because yes. they're all dressed up, and they're, you know, they're right in the, kind of in the middle of the ceremony, wedding ceremony. Oh, man. Yeah. And uh, Sheila sees him right away, and he, I mean, you can see I felt for the guy. He's like, how the hell am I going to get out of this, you know? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> so he ends up standing in at, you know, for the rest of the wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, has the rings. And has the rings. To, yeah. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's going to be video of this. But anyway, we'll get into that yeah. in Super Sudsy. Okay. All right. Uh Meanwhile, as I yes. mentioned, Steffi's back at home um, waiting for Finn to come home with the pizzas. And, um, of course, the whiner, our favorite whiner, Liam, is there complaining and filling her ears with how bad Finn is. And, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then Steffi ends up texting Finn to say, right kind of at the end of the show, towards the end of the show today, and, you know, it says, where are you? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. that was interesting. We knew that was going to happen, yeah. and it, it, that that was kind of a really. Yeah. We knew he was going to end up showing up yeah. somehow, completely innocent. Yeah, but Steffi won't matter though. Terry. No, nope. Why didn't you leave right away? Right, it I won't can matter. see it. Yeah, yeah. No. All right, I found this yeah. interesting, Terry, the next one. So let's do our yes. actor spotlight because mm -hmm. I've been watching this show since they ran into this homeless guy mm -hmm. when uh, 
the Deacon and Finn found Sheila in that abandoned warehouse deal. And I'm like, damn it, that looks like. And for me, I just kept thinking that looks like uh, Ron Howard. Mm-hmm. God, that looks like Ron Howard. Yeah. Well, then today I put the research, this morning I put the research department on it. Mm-hmm. And as it turns out, it's the guy's name is, and I didn't realize this, but now that I hear it, yeah. uh, Clint Howard is the is the homeless man's name on the Bold and Beautiful. Clint is Ron Howard's brother, and Clint uh, and Ron Howard, all the old timers are going to know this, but if the oh, younger yeah. ones don't, uh, Ron Howard was famous for playing Richie Cunningham on Happy Days back in the day, and he's been a wonderful a- uh, director. Oh. Yes. Of several yes. really good movies, mm-hmm. too. So, um, and I had forgotten that he, um, and when I, re- when I read that, I mean, when the research department read this, <laughs> they found that he, ha- and I, I did kind of recall this little cowboy guy back in the day, because I used to watch Andy Griffith's show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And Andy, he played uh, uh, Clint, he played, I can't remember what the guy, oh, Leon. He okay. played Leon, this right. is little Leon, this little little kid cowboy guy that used to wander around in the uh, the town in uh, Mayberry. Uh, in Mayberry, RFD. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's kind of an interesting tidbit. I I it just is. had I had to answer because I'm like this is bugging me. He's a great character. He really I mean, is. his look is awesome. He is. For this. I agree. It's it's great. Yeah. I I'm with you. <laughs> And actually, he's not a bad actor. I mean, no. at first, I'm thinking, oh, this could be not good, you know. I but, think he was having fun with that role. So do I. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it would be it would be a fun role to play because mm-hmm. you can just kind of do you can make what what you want out of it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, so very good. All right. That's a big question answered. I'm sure it was on our listeners' minds. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go into super sudsy questions. Terry. Okay. First one for you is, will Dollar Bill and Poppy reunite or continue their relationship? Well, that was interesting because at the end of the show, Mm -hmm. they had those little previews and it was like, okay, that is not something I was expecting. With Poppy crying and telling uh, Bill that she loved him. From the get go, I know. So that begs the question again of who is Luna's dad? Right, right. So yeah, I think they're going to continue it, but then Bill is going to insist on getting a DNA test. Oh, you did mm-hmm. that? I saw that preview. Did they get into that on the preview, or no? You just, that's your no, thought. Okay, but I think that's that's my thought. That's your thought. Okay. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can totally see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did. I saw the same, Terry. I saw the the preview for next week, and I'm with you. I'm like, oh, because I yeah. yeah you, I, actually, last time, which has been a few several weeks mm-hmm. since you and I podcast, I think we were talking about that back then already that mm-hmm. we hadn't seen much of Dollar Bill and uh, Poppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. They're back. So bringing it back next week, probably for us. That'll be good. Yes. Yes. All right. Next question. Mm-hmm. Will there be a scene made or more surprises coming yet next week on Monday? I thought maybe we'd see it today, but we didn't. Yeah. Uh, will there be a big blow up or something happen at uh, Deacon and Sheila's wedding? What do you think? You know, that would be good if Liam showed up mm-hmm. and caught him there. Because Liam would go running immediately oh. to Steffi and say, this was a setup and blah, blah, blah. That's what I think. Wow. That would be good. Yeah. That one I just would, popped into my head. So. That's a good one, too. And I hadn't thought about how they were, how they're, I hadn't given it a lot of thought about how they would do that. But yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think... I think Hope is going to tell Steffi. Ooh, that 
That would be sudsy. Why would she do that? I don't know. I just, and I can't quite envision oh. why or how she would do that. But Because she knew he was surprised at that. He... Right, right. Oh. Yeah, that I don't would, know. Boy, that would make Hope kind of a. Did you see the other part of the previews, though, for next week? Um, the the other preview was is that uh, Steffi, if people don't want to hear this, close your eyes, but it'll be on oh. next week, um, is that close your eyes and ears, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that Steffi uh, and Ridge are in the office with Hope, and he uh, Steffi says to Ridge, we need to, we need to discontinue the hope for the future lineup. And she tries to, she wants to fire Steph, uh, Hope. Mm-hmm. Steffi does. Yeah. Wow. So she's going to get vindictive. So she finds out, you know, pretty damn soon here, I think, that that uh, Finn was at the wedding. Yeah. And that she she's going to just assume that Hope right. talked him into it. Exactly. And, yeah. That he gave in and, yep, that he gave in and, and decided to go and behind her back, snuck yep. off to the wedding to get... She'll probably say you you ordered pizzas just as an excuse you you could end up there kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think I. I could. Mm-hmm. And I, I could, could see, see Liam saying yes, 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 and in, in oh, her ear. Yeah. You, and I I'm can here. protect you. I can protect you. I'm here for you, Steffi, and I yeah. would never do the things that he's doing <sighs> to you because I am such a good person. I sure hope those two get together. I do too. I'm so I've st- always liked Steffi, but I'm kind of tired of her Jesus, word right now. She's not. She's been so snotty lately. Oh, yeah. yes. Just bitchy. And I'm kind of thinking, you, Liam and Steffi kind of deserve each other. I'm yes. with you. Yes. I so I'm kind of so. hoping. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we've talked about Steffi and how she's going to find out. If there's trouble in paradise coming with Finn and Steffi, Will Hope be there for Finn and Liam for Steffi? I I think there's no question. Yeah. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And that is going to really, um, well, let's put it this way, just ruffle some feathers. Ah. Yeah, I think it's going to be an all-out battle. and. Mm. You know what? It may come to blows. Remember Taylor and Brooke. Those two fought. Oh, you had to bring up Taylor. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I think I, I, it'll be the same matchup. It's yeah. going to be the same thing. They're bringing that storyline back. And Next generation. Yep. There, there will be paint. Fly. Paint all over. <laughs> Rolling Remember that scene? Yeah. That was great. That was the best. There's nothing like a good fat uh, cat fight, <laughs> Derek. I was going to say fat kite. Unless you're a cat cop fight. and you have to get in between it. I know. And I have. I, I did have to do that <laughs> back in the day. You did. <laughs> I don't know. If I saw you coming, I'd say, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, first you let him land a few blows and then you break it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if Secrets I ever have revealed that, in too. Mark Taylor's book. Yes. I'm like the common man. That book that I'm going to write. That would always, be good. You he should always talks do that. About that. I've thought about it because you know the uh, the stories that I think of that happened, especially back in the early days. Yeah. And uh, you know they would be <laughs> before you before I uh, develop where I can't remember. I call it <laughs> CRS. It's a disease called yes. CRS. You can't remember uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, so, I've got some of that. Yeah, yeah. I have that going. Uh-huh. It's already started, so I should, <laughs> probably should write that book. Yep, get it done. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. So will there be, this is something I, I wanted to ask you. Will there be issues with the officiant, who we've already talked about, Clint Howard, uh, being the homeless man, being... Will there be issue with him being the officiant? And yeah. I'll explain if you're not what I mean by that. Yes, I do, and okay, I th- go ahead. and I think I think there will be. I mean, how did this homeless man who had nothing keep a license up to be an officiant? Yeah. Um, 
just on a practical side, that makes no sense. Even from a male male uh, uh, mail order reverend situation, mm-hmm. I don't know that they had time to even get that done. So no. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Is that something's going to come up later that they'll say, "Well, they're not legally married because mm-hmm. uh, he's not a legal reverend." <laughs> then the next question will be, "What does that mean for them?" Mm-hmm. Who knows? I don't know. Because Sheila should be in jail. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's alive. She should be in jail. She never paid for That's her right. crimes. Somebody That's else a good point, did. Terry. So she should have immediately been arrested. That's right. And I and I noticed that her they had an article that she Sheila Carter is alive. It was in a paper, and it's like, where's your where buddy? Are the, and where are the cops? Yeah, where's your Lieutenant Baker? Yeah. Chief Baker. Chief Baker. <laughs> He's been promoted. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, well, that's you... a good point. I I didn't I didn't I forgot about that, but you're right. I yeah. Mean, wow. Oh, and I have to bring up two things. You go. So during the ceremony, um, Sheila says to Deacon, "You complete me." Yeah. What? Do you remember that line in Jerry yeah, Maguire? It was like, oh, my God. So I just had to bring that up. <laughs> you don't and like then, that one, Terry? No. It's <laughs> silly. And then. I, think, I, I always think it is, too. <laughs> I think that's humor. Yeah. And then also just wanted to point out, the last time mm-hmm. I saw Carter on screen, oh. he was looking all Miami Vice. Wow. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up, actually. Yeah. I, I, I haven't seen him for a while, but I was I meant to bring that up because like you said mr gq he's got the yeah he's got the nicely trimmed beard mm-hmm. he's got the chains going and he's got the op- he's buttoning the shirt it, down a little further yes oh, yeah. like what's going on there buddy is he becoming so, a player or what's the deal i don't know and where's no. katie and all of that yeah those? where's katie that's true i don't know boy we haven't seen anything of her either no yeah Mm-mm. yeah <laughs> all right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> you got anything else, Terry? I think I'm spent. Because I missed some, too. But I, <laughs> I tried to kind of bring it up, kind of the bigger stuff that's just happened recently. But Yeah. I was, I, well, you know me, I take notes. So, yeah. I don't think so. I think we're. I think we covered it. I think we've covered it. All so right. So it'll be interesting. There's some exciting stuff coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, just before we close, the only thing, other thing I would say would be um, I just hope they can make something interesting out of that. If they do that thing that we talked about where the couples uh, flip. Yes. The whole de- the whole uh, Steffi and, and Hope mm-hmm. and switching guys there. I, I, I'm kind of tired of that storyline, but you, I yeah. agreed with you when you had said earlier, it could be good if they do it right. If they do it right, and I, yeah. I, I hope they do. I hope that it, this, the history repeating itself might get kind of like, oh, God, are we but going But they could put new point? twists on it. Hopefully they do. I right? hope so. Yeah. 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 But I think it's going to happen. I do, too. Now what? Uh, now I'm so stressed, Terry, after this. I'm, no, actually, I'm, I'm relaxed because <laughs> I haven't had a counseling session with you for a while. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll sleep tonight. Yeah, me too. It'll All be right. relaxing. All right, until we dish again, Terry. I'll keep it sudsy. And we're out.